see. Kind of a sweet claret dabbler variant. Very good fly the claret dabbler. Um, this version is one that I've come to quite like. Catches plenty of fish. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page. If anyone wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content and the monthly Zoom tie in sessions that we're having, as well as entering the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button, that's all I appreciate it. So I've got my hook my vice, it's a size 10 uh, B175. Just run on some Uni 8 in black. You could use red or wine if you want to kind of keep in, in line with the, the claret colour a bit more, but black's fine. Now I'm going to put a holographic red tag on this, um, and this is just medium. Just catch it in, come down, right around the bend. And then before I wind it, we'll get a wee bit of super glue. Just touch the thread. The tinsel will push it around, make sure everything sticks down. Just get my wraps, come up. And then Tie it off. Just trim away the waste. You don't need to be super fussy because it's a dubbed body. That's plenty. Just to protect it, we get a wee lick of very fine varnish. A wee bit much, so just use the dubbing needle just to spread it. That looks okay. Then I'll get my bronze mallard feather and we'll see. So this feather is probably big enough to do the whole fly so what we'll do is we'll take off a section, we'll draw it out so the tips line up and that'll probably do my cloak and then I'll get another bit that will do my wing like that and then up the top here with a wee bit short but it'll do my tail and I only want maybe 10 strands right don't don't put a big heavy tail on it looks terrible. Hook length up to yourself. I'm going for slightly more than a, a tail length. I'm going for slightly more than a hook length. If you want, for whatever reason, you can tie it short, let the t let the shank length and whatever. But I like to keep things balanced. Tail slightly more than the hook, and that's going to sort of match my wing length. And my varnish is dry, so I can catch that in. Just catch it in the way back, it's fine. Something like that. And you can see it's just slightly more than the overall length of the hook. So when you tie your wing in, your wing's going to come maybe to about there and it'll get a nice sort of balance and shape into the fly 
Right, I'm using red wire. Right, I mean, obviously the traditional would be like a gold oval, um, but I like the red. Just sort of blending in with the, the overall claret colour. And then I'm going to get some claret sulphur. It's just a medium claret I'm using. It's, it's quite red, this. Um, you can go darker if you want, obviously. But you'll see when I put the hackles on, I'm going to sort of use the hackle to darken it a wee bit. So, head them on. Come up. Maybe a bit more. It's just not quite enough. And you don't need to be super heavy with your dabblers. Sometimes I see them when they, they're off overdressed, I think. Um, not just rushing the eye, but really, really heavily dubbed and, and way over hackle. So I've got a, a saddle here, claret mix. I'll do. And I like a cock hackle on my tablets. So just get some of the stem exposed, tie that off, just fold it back and break it away. You don't need you never really need to be too fussy. Although this is just twisting on me there so As long as it lies flat, the good side facing towards you when you tie it in. And you can always go back, don't accept Don't just accept it. If it's not sitting the way you want. And then I'll get a good two, two and a half tons at the front, and then I'll come down the body. And you don't need to be so tight on the, the body palmer. That's me letting my fourth going down the body. And then I'm just going to chase it with the wire, catch it nice and tight. And come up. that off. Just bend and break your wire away. Get the Velcro. Just pull some of the the dubbing into the hackle and that will also free any trapped fibres. Snap that away. I'm going to get a dark claret hen. Quite long in the fibre. There's a nice one. It's just an Indian hen. Um, well, it's a nice one. Just get that on the front, tied in by the tip. And then I'll 
I've got a couple of turns, two or three turns on this, and this will darken things a wee bit. I always, I, I sort of like my dabblers to be a wee bit darker towards the front usually. Um, I, I don't know that it makes a huge difference to the fish, but uh, I certainly like the look of the the fly when it's sort of the colour sort of fades up towards the bronze mallard. But you don't need it if you don't want to. You know, it's it's up to you. It's your fly. Just got to sweep in it and back and tidy up. And you can see I've still got quite a good bit of space here. I've got three mil, and we're ready for the cloak and then the wing. So the cloaking's easy. I just sort of set my length and it's going to be about the same as the wing, maybe a wee bit shorter and I'll just take my thread and a sort of loose wrap and then just let it go like that and just roll it, encourage it to roll there's no way to roll for me there just try that again sometimes it will not do it the first time Get that back in. Take the thread. There we go. And just let the thread push the mallard around the shank. And then you just need to maybe manipulate it a wee bit. Make sure it's all the way around, take a couple of turns. You can you can manipulate it, you can move it here until you're happy, and that's quite good. So take a few turns back to lock it. I mean, how fussy you are is up to you, but try to get it pretty good. Trim away your waist. Just got to ignore that then out. You lick a wax. And then I'll take my piece that was for my wing. Okay, fold it in half. Just one fold. That gives me my slip. And then I'm going to fold it on top. Set the length. Something like that. A wee bit longer than the veil. Coming into the tail. And then just pinch and loop it in. And it'll go in fine. That's something like that, that's nice. Check both sides. A couple extra turns. Trim away. And now we can tidy up, just bring the thread to the front. And tie back over everything. Use your thread wraps to gather any stray fibres and now the thread can fold them back. I had a couple of wee stray bits of mallard there under the eye. I just slid the thread up the eye and it just sort of lifts the fibre off the eye and then you can take another turn to secure it. Now you could finish the fly here uh, but I'm going to stick on a bit of jungle cock. Up to you, you don't need it. The fly will work without it, um, certainly, but I like it. Try 
two wee feathers. I was looking for a split there, but a couple of small feathers will be fine. The same. I just like to clean all the rubbish off. Well, nice and clean. And make sure they line up. Just fold them on. A couple of thread turns. It's too high. Let's go back. And you can just slide them about. Well, they sit how you like. Take your thread down. Now these can fold back. Make your head nice and neat and whip finish. Should be able to break these. Get a nice clean cut. Trim away my thread. A bit of varnish. A couple of coats and the fly will be done. So there you go, Claret Dabbler. Good, good top dropper, good point fly. Work well on a good, a good wave. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lens, guys. Bye.